here in this question we have to find the value of r if 5 into 4 p r is equal to 6 into 5 p r minus 1 ok so here we have to use the formula n p r n p r is n factorial by n minus r whole factorial ok so let us solve it and let us find out the value of r so here we are getting 5 into n is 4 and r is unknown here so 4 factorial by 4 minus r factorial but this is important to note that value of r is always less than n in this formula so value of r here should be less than 4 correct we must note it and in the right hand side this is 6 into n is 5 so 5 factorial upon 5 minus r minus 1 whole factorial let us simplify it or this is equal to 5 into 4 factorial divided by 4 minus r factorial and here 6 into this 5 factorial can be written as 5 into 4 factorial I hope you have understood it because in 4 factorial we have the multiplication from 1 1 2 3 4 and this is 5 so finally this is 5 factorial and here in denominator we are getting 5 plus 1 that is 6 so 6 minus r factorial 4 factorial will be cancelled out from both the sides and 5 will be cancelled out here ok and by cross multiplication you can write 6 minus r whole factorial is equal to 6 into 4 minus r whole factorial correct if you transpose this part 4 minus r factorial to left hand side we can write 6 minus r whole factorial by 4 minus r factorial this is equal to 6 now this 6 minus r factorial can be expanded as 6 minus r into in decreasing order 5 minus r into 4 minus r whole factorial divided by 4 minus r whole factorial this is equal to 6 4 minus r will be cancel out now let us simplify further let us multiply these two factors so we will after multiplication we will get this is r square minus 11 r plus 30 this is equal to 6 or r square minus 11 r if this 6 will be transposed to left hand side then it will be 30 minus 6 that is equal to plus 24 now we will try to factorize it to get the value of r ok so this minus 11 r has to be splitted up into two parts such that after addition or subtraction it should remain minus 11 r and, and the multiplication of these two parts of minus 11 r should be equal to 24 r square the product of first and last term here 24 r square ok so this can be written as r square minus 8r minus 3r plus 24 is equal to 0 you check it minus 8r minus 3r is minus 11r so there is no difference and you must take here that product of these two numbers minus 8r into minus 3r is 24r square that should be equal to product of first and last term which is 24r square we have to take care of this thing here now in this two terms we can take r common so r is common r minus 8 and minus 3 from these two terms r minus 8 this is equal to 0 or taking r minus 8 common from these two terms r minus 8 into from here we are getting r from here minus 3 this is equal to 0 so if product of two factors is 0 so either this part will be 0 or this part will be 0 
So when r minus 8 will be 0, r is equal to 8. And when r minus 3 will be 0, r is equal to 3. So these are the value of r that we were required to find out. But we are not going to accept this value r is equal to 8 because r should not be greater than 4. Here r should not be greater than n. So value of 8 is not acceptable. This value is not acceptable. So finally, therefore value of r is equal to 3. This is the answer. So in this way, we can evaluate this type of number problems very easily and we will get the solution.